So off the mark here. Yes, actually off the mark. This thing is flipping. It goes like a stabbed rat. Welcome back guys to another video and what we've got for you today is as you can see behind me is the brand new BMW 4 series and this is actually the M440i so I believe it is the one model below the latest um, uh, M4 and 3 litre I believe they are twin turbo charged with a bit of hybrid power and four wheel drive. So the newer cars, a lot of them, they are four-wheel drive, and this is one of them. And honestly, I th I've driven it for briefly a couple of couple of miles at the minute, and it's very good. It's a brand new BMW, and it's a very powerful BMW as well. I think they're about 370 to 375 brake horsepower. All the latest mod cons can't go wrong. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Performance Lifestyles. Check us out on Instagram, Performance underscore Lifestyles, and we're on Facebook as well, Performance Lifestyles. And if you'd like your car featured, drop us an email, pflifestyle at hotmail.com, and we will be more than happy to accommodate. And if you actually, if you like the content, please click on that thumbs up, the like button, uh, and help us grow. But for today, we've got this fourth M440i. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. We'll catch you outside the car. So there is the latest BMW M440i and it's actually quite a nice nice looking car to be fair. It is a convertible, it's not the right time of the year for a convertible but I got off of the car so I thought yeah, uh, why not eh, why not? And the biggest thing with these cars is this front grille. These were hated by practically everybody on the internet, everybody before they were released and in the actual flesh they don't actually look too bad and I believe these actual things do open up um, somewhat to do with aerodynamics and stuff so but yeah it's actually not a bad looking car and you can only imagine with a splitter on the lower sort of a uh, bumper sitting slightly lower this will actually be quite a, a mega car I'm not 100% sure as to what the spec on this car is but I know it hasn't got the 360 cameras uh, I think it has got adaptive cruise Harman Kardon obviously it's a convertible uh, heated leathers and all the usual stuff, sat nav and uh, the rest of it. And you do get these with bigger wheels as well. So I believe these are what, 19s? But you do get these with uh, slightly bigger or slightly different wheels. The red brake calipers look quite snazzy against the uh, grey paintwork. It is a bit dirty as well, so apologies for that. And like I said, it is virtually like a brand new car, so it's, uh, it's actually quite a nice, nice sort of uh, nice looking thing. They've actually you could tell it's a 4 Series, there's, there's some resemblances before, between this and the previ previous uh, model but there's, there's quite a lot of uh, changes as well so it's still got a bit of the 4 Series DNA but with more up-to-date modern touches and uh, I can't say I'm very well versed with this car but I'll go through whatever I can remember, wherever I pick up on so yeah, the headlights, check the headlights I believe this has got LED lights, which is a standard feature, especially with it being one of the top spec sort of cars, the uh, highest models of this 4 Series. we have got this blue thing here, I'm not too sure what that's all about, but it does look quite snazzy. And the lights are quite literally just that little thing there. So, and then you've got your angel eye sort of thing going on over there as well. They've got like a dark sort of tint to the headlights. The wheels again, slightly dark sort of uh, tint to them, they are a bit dirty, but yeah, this is a slight dark sort of tint to them. And then generally, you know, because it's an M, M sort of uh, model car. It's not an M power car, but it's an M sort of model car. Uh, and yeah, just the whole back end actually looks a lot bigger than the uh, previous 4 Series. Because it's got all of this on it. And the roof on these opens up uh, slightly different to the previous model as well. And I'll put up a little clip here and you'll see exactly what I mean. The roof, the way it opens up is quite snazzy to be fair. And again, twin exhaust pipe, one on this side, one on that side. And as you can see, there's uh, only condensation on this one and not that one. So it's probably a valve system that that side opens up uh, after certain RPMs. Little fake vents here. 
seems to be the norm with a lot of cars nowadays is sticks fake vents on and stuff but the actual groove on the bumper is quite quite funky it's actually quite an aggressive looking uh, back end and then you get the rear lights as well which look like a bit of a deformed night tick which do look quite nice to be fair reverse camera on the actual badge oh that's nazi haven't even noticed that so onto the inside as soon as you open the door you can see the uh, nice shiny chrome sill plates and the seat the interior in these cars is fantastic i quite like this little pattern here you get the m m sort of uh, trio of colors there and then you get it on the seat belt as well so it's quite a nice sort of touch they are electric seats they've got the electric features there and the actual memory functions are on the door as they are with mercedes cars and they don't actually come with a light like a knob it's just buttons so you want to put your lights on auto headlights switch them off side lights parking lights so it's all on these little switches here and what you do get with this is like a virtual cockpit which to be fair does actually it's quite nice if i put it into sport you got comfort eco pro adaptive that's just your auto hold for the handbrake the roof features here functions here push button start is over here not on the actual dashboard like with the previous models um it's got internet Ooh, the car's got internet uh, media and all your general functions are over here and then you get a diddy little gear knob the other thing this car does have is it's got a wireless charger which is hidden away underneath here it's quite a nice uh, nice sort of feature and then you get generally all this new sort of tech um let's if we click on map okay close oh yeah there you go navigation systems there well it's starting navigation so and then you get this like a uh, aluminium trim sort of finish on the dashboard the doors it's actually a very i quite like it it might actually if you had a few more options on it it'll be even better but it's still not a bad car and then you get leather on the dashboard as well which is shown here with the stitching so there's a lot of blue stitching and a lot of like different sort of themes going on around here you get your fuel gauge on this side your speedometer there rev counter um mpg temperature gauge Oh, that's not even a rev counter actually my apologies that's the power thing because it is a three liter twin turbo hybrid so you get some aspect of hybrid technology in the new m440 and it's a it's a quick sort of motor and it's a so like i was gonna show you a minute ago so put that into sports sport plus give it a bit of a rev and you'll you get these little crackles and stuff but i think a lot of that is through the speakers um because with the roof up you can hear it a bit more and with the roof off it's not as obvious so i'm guessing it is because it's coming through the speakers there is a bit of crackling coming out the back but i'm guessing a lot of it is through the speakers just for noise purposes makes it sound as though you're a bit more going a bit well, it's just more of an enjoyable drive should i say it's actually sounds okay with the roof up so far that's my 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 take on it um and what i'll do is i'll show you quickly show you under the bonnet and then we'll go for a quick little drive and conclude the video it, it you know got off of this car last minute sort of thing so i thought yeah quick time get a video snapped up of it and it's, it's actually a very very nice car so i quite like the steering wheel as well it's quite it's a full leather steering wheel leather airbag as well and you get some features here and i think if you had a radar system in the car i think the buttons are on this side here but then obviously you get your general m power thing here yeah snazzy snazzy i must admit well i don't know if it's going to age very well though that's the only problem i'm not 100 percent sure if it's going to age very well the older ones have actually aged very well they're very popular but these i think it'll be a bit of a marmite car to be fair but it's a nice car nevertheless and now with the roof down you actually still do get plenty of uh, boot space the only thing is you won't be able to get any sort of big sort of suitcase or anything in there but when you fold the roof back up um this thing folds all the way up so you get quite literally the whole of that space there so you can easily squeeze in one suitcase a large suitcase and maybe a small small sort of one so there's plenty of actually space 
to get plenty of stuff in it and actually go places with these cars as well. So I think they've learned from uh, their previous mistakes and actually uh, improved on these things. But it's like there, you can see how small the boot lid is. Because on the previous ones, the boot lid went all the way up to there and here it's, uh, it's only a Diddy's little lid. So there it is, the three litre twin turbocharged engine. It's not really a lot to show, it's all underneath here. It's got some fake carbon going on over here. They've changed the M Performance logo as well, so it uh, looks a bit like that now. And yeah, a couple of little strut braces here on that side. Aluminium cooling panel, which is a bit of a different sort of thing. But overall, I'd say it's actually a very nice, impressive looking car. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Enjoy the video, guys. You know, subscribe to our channel, check us out on our in Instagram, Facebook. And if you do like the video, click on that thumbs up, help us grow. And but for today, what we'll do, we'll catch you on the drive and then we'll conclude the video. So, um, yeah, we'll catch you on the drive, I suppose. So then, on to the drive of this uh, M440i. I mean, I don't really get to drive too many brand spanking near enough new cars, so you can blatantly, this is obvious, this is a new car. It's still got that new car smell. Everything feels virtually like new to touch. And the actual drive on it is, Consider, I'm in comfort mode, so it is fairly soft at the moment. It drives actually very, very, very well, to be fair. It's even got a heads-up display, I've just noticed. I think the settings are a bit off, though, because I have to move my head up to actually see it. But, yeah, you can adjust the heads-up display on these cars. Because you... Well, I'm sure you can, because you could do it on the uh, M4 that I used to have. So... But, to, it, honestly, it actually feels very, very nice very refined very comfortable very smooth and bear in mind that is in comfort mode and if i was to steering actually feels very sharp as well very pinpoint which is something that i personally don't think a lot of bmws had back in the days but they've actually improved them massively in these newer sort of cars the gauge on the right on the uh, virtual clocks it's it just tells you how much what percentage of power you're using so on the previous ones you used to get the sports styles on the center screen but on this i'm guessing it is the battery percentage that you use on the actual uh, cluster there so if i flick it up into sports Sports Plus, that sounds better. Put it into manual. Automatically, you can hear that popping. You, the microphone might not pick it up, but I think it is slightly exaggerated. It's smoothly quick. It's very refined, very comfortable. It doesn't give you like a kick in the face when you put your foot down, but does it pick up speed? Yes. It certainly does a very good job of that. I'm actually quite enjoying this thing, but I, I don't know if, I'll, if it's something that I'd personally want to spend 50,000 pounds on at the moment. If I'm spending 50 grand on a car, I think it would have to be another GTR. Because a GTR does give you a kick in the face when you put your foot down. So off the mark here. Yes. Actually off the mark, this thing is flipping. It goes like a stabbed rat. Oh, this is actually quite an awesome bloody car. And the grip is there as well, even though the, I'm sure it's running Bridgestone, pretends, uh, Bridgestone tires. I'm sure Michelin's will probably handle a bit better, but even in Sports Plus mode, the suspension does firm up a little bit, but it's nothing back braking and nothing unbearable. I'm actually really liking this, it's actually very smooth. 
in the power delivery section. Which makes it obviously appeal to a lot more people. Especially the type of people that will buy these sort of cars. You're going to get generally exec people, you know, they don't want nothing that they're bouncing around in everywhere. Whereas this thing will get you to your meetings and to your whatever you're going to go really, the golf club, in style. And it will get you there nice and comfortably and quickly. So I think it gets a bit of a thumbs up from me at the moment. Oh, I've got, got a little sign up on the dashboard now. I'm guessing it's got the anti-collision thing. So a red car pops up on the uh, center console and uh, on the actual clocks and on the uh, heads up display. Just to let you know, you're getting a bit too close to the car in front, just back off a little bit. Uh, so I'm guessing it will have adaptive cruise control as well. So, And these are the features, I suppose, when you're paying 50,000 pounds, I think they should come as standard, really. I know a lot of manufacturers want to charge extra money, optional extras and all the rest of it. But I think when you're paying 50 Gs, I think it needs to be um, a standard feature. The downshift blips are quite nice. <laughs> this is this is quite nice. The eight-speed gearbox is sharp, it's rapid, it's very very quick not that it you'd expect it to be slow in this day and age it's a 2021 22 car it's barely covered 1500 miles so it's uh I, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with this I'm, I'm not normally a guy that likes these newer sort of cars but i think this is actually uh, they've done a good job if they were worth about 20 to 25 grand i think i'd uh, maybe buy one so on that note I'm going to conclude the video guys. I hope you've enjoyed this short, brief, quick video of this 2021, 22, can't remember what year it is now, uh, M1, M440i. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video guys. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Performance Lifestyles. Check us out on Instagram, performance underscore lifestyles. And we're on Facebook as well, Performance Lifestyles. And if you'd like your car featured on the channel, drop us an email pflifestyle at hotmail.com and we will be more than happy to accommodate and like i said if you enjoyed the video click on that thumbs up button the like button and help us grow and as per usual guys stay safe and hopefully we will catch you on the next video